One thing I enjoy most about my job is working with students, especially when their first language is not English. I'm always impressed with how quickly our non-native English speaking students adapt and immerse themselves into our schools. Our next speaker has not been in the United States very long. In fact, he has only been here for two and a half years. He was born in Isfahan, Iran, and enjoys playing soccer, volleyball, and sports in general. But music is what helped him find his place in America while staying connected with his roots in Iran. From Overton High School, let's welcome Farzin Degan for his TED Talk, From Isfahan to Nashville, the bridge that music built. Thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Farzin and I'm from Iran. So I started playing music five years ago when I was 13 and I started playing music with the instrument called DAF, which is a frame drum. But after two, three months, I became interested in Kamancha or Persian spike fiddle. So I had to go to classes for Kamancha, but I didn't have money, so I had to work three months of summer to buy a Kamancha to go to classes, which I did. And my brother helped me to pay for those two. So after one year and two, three months, I again couldn't pay anymore because I, I, I didn't have money to pay it. So I stopped playing music, but after two, three months, I realized that I just can't uh, stop playing music because it's not something you just get rid of. So I told myself I should teach myself. So I started watching videos and listening to other Kamancha players and just lis listening by, I don't know, other radifs and a structure of Persian classical music to learn something, which wasn't so successful, but which I had to do. So after a while, I realized that not so many teenagers listen to this kind of music. And for example, if somebody was asking me who's my favorite singer, my, as my answer was Ustad Banan, who is like, if he was alive now, he would be 100 years old. So it was unique on that area and especially on the capital of Tehran, the capital of Iran, which is Tehran, to for a 14 years old who has this passion for Persian classical music. And I think that when teenagers don't listen to traditional and classical music, I think that's unfortunate. We should work on that. And they might be missing out. So three years ago, actually two and a half years ago, I came to United States and at the first I didn't like it at all. 
because of different cultures and there was nobody here to help me with my music other than my brother who doesn't play my instrument but he can help me but not as much as I wanted. So one day I walked to my English class and I had my head down, I was so tired and I just wanted to go home. And I heard the song says, Silver wings shining in the sunlight, roaring in jays, pitted somber in flight. And I jumped out and I went to my teacher and I asked, Oh, Mr. Blankish, what, uh, who, who, who's the singer? What genre is it? And he told me, Go sit down, Farzin. I messed around with him so much because this time he thought I'm messing around with him again. But he realized after a while that I really asked him and he came up to me and said, okay, it was Mel Hagar and yeah, it was the Silver Wing song. And he wanted to make it up, so he gave me a CD of some country singers too. And I went and I listened to that. And I really fell in love with country music. And as I was in this space and motion for country music, two, three weeks after, I heard I was doc walking to my math class, I think, and I heard this song from this choir room comes out yeah, so peacefully. And I again went to my teacher and asked her, oh, Miss Kelly, wha what's the name of this song or who's the singer? And she told me, oh, it's Pavarotti, and it's opera. And I said, oh, I know, I know Pavarotti, but my friend just told me he just yells. <laughs> and she didn't tell me anything, but I could see the anger in her eyes. <laughs> so she just told me, go and search Pavarotti in the YouTube or Google and listen to some of his songs. And I did that. And there were some of his songs which really got me emotionally, like Ave Maria or O Sole Mio, Nessun Dorma, and My Way, which is not his song, but he performed it with three tenors in 1994 in Los Angeles for the opening of World Cup. I want to play a really short part of that song, just like two sentences, to see just how it sounds on an instrument other than violin or piano. Thank you. So it was amazing how music could connect me to people around me. And I understood the actual meaning of the music connects people. So by this point, I got to know more about American culture by listening to George Jones, Merle Haggard, Bob Dylan, Johnny Cash. And I realized when Pavarotti is singing, he's not yelling, but he's expressing the purity of music into people's soul. And recently I realized when Booker T. Jones is playing his organ, he's telling us the story of so many people who earned their freedom. 
And again, this was so amazing for me how music could be a connection for me to get into know cultures more. And I want to say if you think that you're not lucky or you don't have any music experience, musical experience, I have some ways for you today to experience kind of something like I did. So the first one is go listen to something new. And I recommend listen to traditional or classical. Say if you want to listen to Chinese music, go listen to Chinese classical music. And my second option is go listen to something you have always said you don't like or you hate. For example, I'm going to go listen to hard rock today. <laughs> you know. So these are these two ways that it can get close to what I feel. And I have some hopes for future. I hope my generation and my last generation are not the last generations who listens and plays traditional and classical music. And I hope there are people who would support us in any ways they can and in any ways we need to keep us moving forward. And I hope there are people who would listen to our ideas for the future, for this kind of music, so we can keep them alive. So if we allow ourselves to listen to new kinds of music, we would find it in the songs that now we are hearing from radio because it's actually based on those. So this is my challenge for today. Go and listen to a new kind of music and I will help you today. I will not let you go out of this room until I play a new instrument, an another instrument for you. So I want to play the DAF which is a Persian Kurdish frame drum for you. But before that I want to show you the Silk Road Ensemble, they are like one of the biggest groups I've always liked and they're so active on world music and one of their members is Ustad Kehan Kalhor who is very very professional on playing Kalanche and he's a very good composer and I had the privilege to meet him in November and yes here is that. I have to move the microphone too.